Hey guys, it's Glenn from glenscarcollection.com. And let's do a little acceleration here in the BMW M340i X-Drive. So this is probably the coldest morning drive I've done. Uh, it's winter time here. It's 21 degrees. I've taken the Porsche as low as 38 degrees with summer tires. That's probably the limit. Wow, see, so I can hear it's fighting for traction. Good thing I have all-wheel drive. All-season tires are probably an advantage in this cold over having summer tires, that's for sure. Oh, wow, look at that. So I just, I don't know if you saw that, if you, were, if you can even see my heads-up display, but uh, as I was closing the red line, we got kind of Formula One lights here in Sport Plus. The sun is in my eyes, so forgive me there. So this car puts the power down really well with its all-wheel drive. The disadvantage to it is I have these crappy, skinny rear all-season tires and they're run flats no less on top of that. But this car is really fast. One thing I love about the car, I love, the, love how the car looks. I love this Portimao blue. Love the power and how well it puts the power to the ground. I think that's something the F80 M3 was definitely lacking. The detriment to this car is probably all season run flats, but you could uh, you could easily rectify that. the electronic nannies that much sorry I gotta put sunglasses on here or something there we go wow it's icy black ice up ahead slow down black ice on the one of the turns So how does it handle these icy roads? It handles these icy roads uh, pretty good. There's some black ice here, and I felt the uh, traction control intervene for sure. Now you know why everybody up here has Subarus. <laughs> we had that one snowstorm I sh uh, sh showed you with the 13 inches of snow, if you watch that. Uh, the roads were kind of plowed before I could take this out and test those all season tires. How does the transmission shift? It shifts pretty well. For an eight-speed uh, torque converter automatic, it gives a convincing, it gives a convincing imitation of a dual clutch. And you don't have the downsides of a dual clutch. So it's actually pretty good. I can see why they went into it. It shifts so fast, like the M5, that I can see why uh, why they did it. You don't have the shortcomings of the dual clutch. You don't have the fun with the rev matching or a dual clutch, I would say, is more fun and spirited driving. But obviously in day-to-day -day driving, it's much better in traffic having the torque converter automatic. I don't like the electronic nannies. I, I shed off the lane assist here. It is just really annoying. Uh, if you try to switch lanes, if you're a BMW driver and you try to weave in and out of lanes, this will actually fight the steering wheel against you. <laughs> even when you're not even close to the car, the car is beyond your blind spot. You have plenty of, of uh, room to pass them safely and it'll, it'll still fight you. It'll still, whatever room you think you need, this is gonna, this wants you to have double. Otherwise, it's a fun car in sport plus mode. You know, my complaint with modern BMWs in comfort mode is just a modern, I mean, it's just a regular BMW. You really don't, sorry guys. All right, the sun's in my eyes, so I'll probably end the video here. But it's a great, it's a fantastic car, which I love and I highly, highly recommend it. 
thanks again for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Up, oh, the sun's, uh, well, anyway. All right, sorry guys, just uh, shooting on the fly here. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.